What's up everybody? It's your girl Irene underscore Jeff and my good people welcome back to our channel. In today's reaction video, I want to talk about uh, the latest live stream by the travel commando Shagalabagala Shenanigans, you know. She, uh, oh my god, sorry for that. He has actually come to address the catfish guy and told him, you know what? You should stop exploiting my name, which is Ayamaro. I like, actually he dared him not to publish any video about him all this month, and we see if the channel will grow or not. Not really that he's wishing him bad, but this guy has been full of pride, exploiting his name, and in a very bad way. That was the reason he sent a short and clear message to him. At least be posting your videos. Don't just rely on my name. We are waiting to see if that will happen. I am also going to address Pasta Guy's video. He came out and he was just gossiping actually. Let me just, uh, let me just call it gossip. But guys... Imagine having a friend and then later on he or she comes to your home, you stay and then when there is a little bit of misunderstanding they gossip about your family. Oh, I, I don't really wish to be in such a situation. I will be talking about this Eta's video. She came out very bitter, very bitter. After Rocio said, you know what, I don't even watch your videos. I only get to know about such videos that you've done about me after somebody sends me a link and that is when I, I'm like, oh, so I was trending. It really hurt this lazy gang member because she has been making videos about Rocio, left, right, center, attacking her. And to make the matter worse, she even lied and manipulated Rocio's video about the we have closed our doors video. We are going to talk about that. Lastly guys, we are going to talk about only Mawira, a very beautiful soul that has come out to reveal surprising events that had happened initially and even talked about what he feels about what is happening what or what has happened to the travel commando so let us jump into our reaction video guys So guys, um, there is this particular video, an amazing video by the one and the only, only Mawira. Guys, if you remember Mawira, is this tall, handsome guy that I wanted to say tall, dark and handsome. <laughs> yeah, so Mawira is this guy that traveled to the village so according to his video he talked about the genesis of everything how many years it took him to get uh, 1000 subscribers and generally he was just grateful for the support that Mara gave him and the chance that Mara gave him and i was so happy at least you know i don't know why when it comes to this group of people who had tried first before and they failed and then Mara came along the way and supported them, you'll find most of the people being very grateful and appreciative because they know where they have come from. They know how difficult it is. But if you find this group of people that, you know, 
they were just supported like directly the channel just grew like directly they will always uh, feel like you know we deserve better we deserve to be better than marwa we deserve to, to like to compete you know th such things guys and mawira told us about is journey he started doing music is a actually is a very good musician and in his channel you will still find music videos or songs so he tried for seven good years and for him to go to nyabo anse he had to sell his tiktok account you can imagine guys bought some clothes for the travel commando and left to the village Courtesy of Chacha, he meets the travel commander and the travel commander is ready to welcome him. And the game changer now was the clay bat because according to Mawira, he didn't just take it as, you know, these are just videos, you know. He took it as a special video for him to shine. Imagine guys. And he is forever grateful for that opportunity. Like, just like um, the catfish guy, you know, the travel commander has already given us names. We shouldn't call them their original names, the catfish guy, you know. So this guy, he should have seen like, you know what? Maro has given me an opportunity to work on the fish pond, film videos about the fish, fish pond and everything within the villa. So for him, he did not see it as an opportunity and also he did not see it as a way of Marwa wanting him to shine to support him see how sharp only mawira is and appreciative at the same time and you know what only mawira was one of the person that talked on the rooftop you remember the rooftop when they were demolishing it and then they were they wanted to do the terrazzo which was of course done later on by in concept interiors so what happened guys you know only mawira and the rest of the people that we used to see in the videos they were even only kibe or oh, why not kibe sorry he used to work there like during that period remember it was raining the work was supposed to be done like really quick so that rain doesn't go into the house and they really offered their support to do that at the end of the day you can imagine guys this is the person that is coming out or did a video after Mara named them as the ungrateful, vid uh, ungrateful people, he did a video and said, that work was so hard. We were not paid. And guys, if you just find somebody that worked with them during that time, ask this person that you will want to call, who was the person that was given the money? to distribute to the rest of the people that were assisting on the rooftop because of course you know how Marwa does uh, he, mo most of his work if there are so many people working at the same time you know at the end of the day he will not like pay each and everyone he will give one person the old money to distribute to the rest of the people that was assisting in the work and during the rooftop work the catfish guy was the person that was give, given the money, always given the money to give to the rest of the people. But to, the, to my surprise, you know, is the one who is coming out to say we weren't paid. That job was hard. Look at the marks that I have on my, in my hands. It's only that these other people don't want to talk because they don't want to involve themselves in reaction videos like us. But if they did like speak out and talk about the truth that was happening during that time and who was the person that was given the, all the money to give the rest of the people that were working on the rooftop, they would tell you it was the catfish guy. The catfish person, the one that is exploiting Mara's name left, right, center, of which he actually talked about it yesterday. He will keep exploiting Mara's name, you know. 
Anyway guys, and I wonder, I wonder, when somebody comes to me and tells me, why is Mara not paying his workers? And I ask them, who has not been paid? And nobody answers a question, the question like when I ask them, who is this person that is complaining has not been paid? You know, these people come out here to just tell lies, lies, so that you can pity them, you can feel for them, you know? We understand all of us are emotional and when somebody comes to you, oh, I worked for this person, they never paid me. And that is something that even Mara will never do. They will ask you if you need to be paid. And that is why Mawira said, you know what? After we were done, I think this was personal conversation. I don't I I didn't talk about it in the video. That the, the last time that they came to my house, that they worked on the rooftop and every evening, like Mara will tell him, the catfish guy has your money. Uh, for the rooftop and uh, not really uh, this other catfish guy only Mawira will tell Marwa boss what you have done to me the support that you have done to me I am actually uh, trans translating it directly so that was uh, only Mawira's sentence when Marwa told him that I have given the catfish um, I have given the catfish guy your money. Only Mawira will tell the travel commando boss what you have done to me or the support that you have given me is even more than the money that you want to give me. So let it just be like that. I'll just continue supporting you all heartedly. So meaning that every day the travel commando used to give out money for the people that worked. If you wanted to take it, well and good. If you wanted to be like uh, only Mawira and be like I appreciate the gesture that he introduced the world to you and all that, that will be up to you. But the fact is, people were paid. So, unless if it was in this situation where People went and said, I want you to help me grow the channel. Now telling the travel commando, help me grow the channel. And you know what? I actually work for you for free. You know, those are two different uh, situations. So for the first one, for me, Mawira, I was talking about the rooftop thing because Catfish, hey, he was in his video shouting and even showing the marks that he got from there claiming that he wasn't paid and he was the person that was given money to pay the rest of the people. You can imagine. Oh my God. I wish you started this uh, channel that you are using to destroy your neighbor. I wish you had started it alone. And we see how fast you would have grown on this YouTube platform. Actually, YouTube is the hardest platform on this planet to grow an audience. I mean, if you grow your channel like really fast, I will say that is God. That is God. But vlogging and starting alone, you will have to struggle, struggle. Unless if you are doing trending stories like news, you talk about trending stories every day, every day, every day. I actually... I'm sure about getting a thousand subscribers and 4,000 watch time hours immediately. But one thing with trending topics, you are not sure about the survival of your channel. That is the only issue. So you can imagine guys, for Mawira, it took him seven good years to get 1,000 subscribers. And after meeting the travel commando, who willingly offered to support him he is now at 8,000 subscribers 8,000 plus subscribers in 7 months is it 7 or 8? 7 months there I think so or let's just say 8 months yeah 
So it took Mawira, well, this is what I'm saying, it took Mawira seven years to get 1,000 subscribers, but after meeting the travel commando, it only took him less than a year to get to 8K. See the effect of the travel commando. And people don't want to appreciate him, to accept him. They come back fighting just because they were called ungrateful. And there is somebody who commented, who was it? Oh my God, Philip. Oh, there is a comment that you left today that I will never forget. Somebody was actually telling another person that uh, this person was talking about slavery, you know. And Philip asked them, why are the slaves crying after being kicked out? Because if you are a slave and you are kicked out, you should be thankful and you should be happy. But why are they crying? <laughs> oh my God. I, I will never forget that comment in my life. Because it's true. If somebody has been kicked out, why go and use the same, same person's name that has kicked you out and called you ungrateful? And then you start crying. That was a feedback or a response to a hater who was in the comment section trying to say, oh, you know, how haters talk, let's just leave them alone. So that was the story of Only Mawira. Bro, God bless you so much. At least more positive people are coming out and speaking their hearts out. You know, yesterday me I was wondering, Marwa supported so many of us. If we count, it will be over 200. But why is it that it is only us who have been positive about him from the beginning that are still talking good about him? Where are the rest? And seeing um, only Mawira, somebody that I have personally interacted with and I actually know him on a personal level also. You know, if you meet somebody, you get to know them, you understand them, and that is how you categorize them as friends, good friends. I was so happy. Although he, he will not be doing reaction videos, but at least I was really happy that he came out and spoke about the issue and told people not to forget where you came from. Never bite the hand that once fed you. You know, those are the things that don't stick in people's mind. And even this group of people that were doing a live stream, you know, I can't say their names. They just did a live stream and they were like, uh, this UK lady is a very old person. How can she talk lies about the travel commando given her age? Guys, pastor guy, you know, he, he actually this, these are the words of it as somebody who has it in his art. Because why would he say, I know where Marwa blew up, like the channel now grew. It's because Marwa went to this country, and in this country it is very famous for these type of people and that type of people, and now that is where people... Oh, anyway, guys, why would you come out and say something like that and you are not even happy at the same time? You know, if you are happy for what was happening, like... The reason as to why Mara was uh, blew up in, in YouTube is because of this and this. I will recommend you to do this and this and that and that. I am very happy. But this guy was doing it with a very sad face and feeling very hurt. He was very hurt that Mara has grown up to that point. And that reminds me of this particular live stream from these lazy gang members. I don't want even to talk about their name. This you, these two young men that were saying, Marwa has 540,000 subscribers, but he only gets uh, 40,000 views. Why don't you also talk about Wodemaya? Wodemaya uh, also has a million subscribers, but they have the same views with Marwa. And in fact, I will say Marwa earns more than Odemai because for Marwa, he posts daily. Daily, daily, daily. And remember, for Marwa, the, like one hour, a one hour video with even, 20, let's even talk about 20k views. One hour video of Marwa with 20k views earns the same amount 
as of somebody who has posted a 15 minutes video with 100,000 views. You can imagine. So I'm like, these people, when they are talking and saying that Marwa has this num uh, number of subscribers, but only 40,000 watch, I'm like, why don't you even talk about the word Maya himself, who has 1 million, not just, I think it has even surpassed 1 million. Oh my god, me, I, I don't even know what to tell these kind of people. To make the matter worse, pastor guy is there, doing what? Telling people not to support Mara and the family Mwaso Di Mwango. I don't know why he's very bitter with uh, D. He was very bitter with D Mwango in that video. And, okay, I think, I think, you know, I, I know the reason now. When actually they were doing collabs with D Mwango around four years ago, you know, Ponte was at 45,000 subscribers and... D Mwango was around 30k there. And you know what? Currently, currently, D Mwango is at 430 plus. 430,000 plus subscribers. Ponte is still struggling to get 100,000. But I, and I think he will get to 100,000 because of the drama that he has. <laughs> He has decided to involve himself into, I mean, a lot of channels have been resurrected for, for real. Somebody like uh, the Washington DC guy, the views were not viewing, but after doing the over-edited video of the Travel Commando, the video got <laughs> a lot of views. Actually, that video was over-edited. I don't know why he was doing that. He just knew that he was, like, not even bringing anything tangible. It was just, like, gossiping. Oh, my God. And I like the fact that the travel commando has told him in this Shagalabagala shenanigans live stream that Washington, D.C. guy, I want you to publish the CCTV cameras. The videos from the CCTV cameras while it was there uh, some one year ago, then that will be okay for him because the travel commando knows that is where the truth is. Publish the videos that were captured by the CCTV. I don't know if he will do that. <laughs> I don't even think so because he knows he's the problem because. There was nothing tangible actually in that uh, video of him trying to say, oh, Marwa this, oh, Marwa that. And then, one thing that Mr. Pasta, Pasta guy said or talked about uh, Marwa's neighbors is that the neighbors of Marwa really hate him. They don't want him in the village because he's selling land to foreigners, guys. That also another thing, another funny thing that I just loved, he said that the villagers don't like Marwa because Marwa has constructed a mansion, a villa, a villa which is going to crack. Guys, is that not, he actually talked something like that, is that not, is, is that not a jealous person? Hatred, oh my god, people are so hateful outside here yeah, just because of other people's hard work. Mara has been putting videos every day. Them that have not been publishing every day. Now they feel bad about the success of Marwa. To the point of telling people, Marwa is rich. He's only pretending to be poor. Has Marwa ever said that he's poor? In fact, he always calls himself a millionaire. Oh my God. I mean, at this point I will say the only mistake that Marwa did was to support us. Because you see, most of us, we have come, uh, we have come back to backstab him, fight him instead of just remembering the hands that fed us. And then we have this, I don't know this lady, what to call her, this, this TV. You know, even me, I don't want to mention people today. This lady... You know, she came out and 
I, I don't even know how to describe what she was doing. Because she came up, she came out and responded to Rocio's uh, video about we are now closed or we have closed our doors. She responded bitterly. She was very bitter, guys. And I was like, oh, ho. oh, ho. so these people that have been going there, they have been your spies. And now that the doors will be closed, no more spying. And that is why she was very bitter. Actually, guys, if you listen to that video, there was bitterness in her. Talking trash to Rocio. And you see this part where Rocio said that I don't even watch this fat women's video. I only get to know about it when somebody uh, sends me a link and tells me you are trending. Otherwise... She doesn't even know, she doesn't even have an idea if she was trending or not. That hurt this hater to the... Because, you know what, she was... Like, you see, she's like, all these videos that I've been doing for her and she's, she has not been watching. But the thing is, you can imagine she's so toxic. This is somebody that I cannot advise you to watch every day because of the negativity you will end up not being happy why would you waste your time watch negativity i don't think it's worth it's worth anyone's time and then she manipulated the video from uh rocio that they are not going to allow anybody be it baba gift jamaican uncle and everybody that has ever supported the travel commando you are not and and you can imagine she even went further and said that they have called all of you parasites that was the manipulation that was happening but remember even in rocio's video she said clearly we are only going to allow close friends and family so those close friends, Baba Gift, Jamaican Uncle, Mr. Karim, all these like beautiful souls that were supporting them. That's, oh my God. Me, I don't even want to discuss that video because it just came from an hater. And I was like, let me just talk about it a little bit, but not focus on it so much because it doesn't deserve to be focused on. Those were total lies. Anyway guys, we have come we have come to the end of the video. I hope you really liked it and also you subscribed to the channel.